Hi everyone, welcome to the iProcess webcast. Today we talk about HARA, Hazard Analysis and Risk Assessment. Here are five things to keep in mind when performing an effective HARA. First, understand what HARA is and when to use it. HARA is the most important analysis during the concept phase. The goals of the HARA are to identify and classify the hazards, formulate the safety goals, and determine the associated ACL rating for each. Automotive safety integrity levels, or ACIL, is determined based on severity of a potential harm, probability of exposure to a certain situation this harm could occur, and controllability, the ability of the user to avoid the harm. HARA is done at the vehicle level. For safety element out of context, or SEOC, HARA should still be performed with assumptions at the vehicle level. Two, identify the worst case mishap. The focus is to determine hazards based on malfunctions in specific operational situations that need to be documented. The exercise is a brainstorming on climate, time of day, shape of road, vehicle operation, etc. that together with malfunctions will lead to hazardous situations. For example, a malfunction might be more severe or less controllable on an icy road in the dark than it would be on a sunny day. 3. Include SOTIF. While the analysis is usually done for functional safety, it is a good opportunity to include SOTIF cases. SOTIF stands for Safety of the Intended Functionality. A previous video is available in the description. Consider cabin conditions such as loud music, screaming children, distracted drivers that cannot react in a timely manner to avoid a hazardous event. 4. Use a cross-functional team. It is important to have a cross-functional team doing the analysis. Some of the key roles that should be included are system and software architects, validation engineers, functional safety managers, quality managers, technical experts depending on the item being analyzed. However, limit the number of team members based on the scope for efficiency. 5. HARA is iterative. Do not expect to have identified all hazardous events in the first pass at it. Perform additional safety analysis such as FMEA, FMEDA, FTA, etc. And more scenarios will likely come up and more possible hazardous events will be added and so on. Update the HARA with the newly learned information continuously. So, don't skip the HARA. It is one of the most important steps in achieving functional safety overall. Do not replace it with FMEA or vice versa. They are complementing each other. And use existing analysis publicly available on NHTSA's website to get you started. iProcess can support with templates, workshops, and strategies. Check our website for more information.